Legacy Model VP. Naku, lakad mo. Lakad mo na lang. Lakad mo na to. Have to get something that maybe fights early and you can play with tempo and try and, you know, take objective snowball out of control. Razor comes out. For good reason. Sonic here with that early headdress. Of course, with the tether up on a Razor. There's that interaction you're talking about. And the first block going the way of Fart Studios. The plasma field just barely hitting to get the kill right there. And now good for uh, C Dub, but both of them have Orb of Venom. Oh, he gets cured back. Aphromoosh uh -oh. gets called out by Jenkins. Right, he's dead. There's nothing more he can do. He maybe go set up for a turn kill. That's not even going to happen. So, yeah, a little too confident. But you're talking about the Orb of Venom. Yeah, so Lay, Fart, SJ, and Sonic. They're once again deep. This time, Aphromoosh already TPing it. And now here comes Mark. Mention Ember Spirit. He really wants to be able to make plays in the other lanes. And he's going to be able to make that play. Gets the kill on Razor. The TP out from IO. At least successful, but good rotation. Good collapse more so by C Dub to get their first kill of the game. Yeah, they get a little bit in there. And uh, at the same time, though, Wisp Mash to TP out and get back to bottom lane in time to even do a pull as well to get the lane back and be comfortable to uh, prepare it for Racer. Mid lane, they're trying house card. Inner Fire already used. He has a life fresh. It's not going to matter. He had a Tang or a Fairy Fire, excuse me, as well. But get another one. That's a big one. Yeah, that's a good move. Good move to shut him down. Any kill on him before armor is a great top. Lifestealer, he's actually in trouble as well. Already using his wand, Sanctify TPing in, trying to assist. Not going to keep him alive, though. Now what happens from here? The creeps are chasing into the trees. Three heroes here, of course, from the run. But Aphromoosh, yeah, they're trying to run. Leech Seed level two. It's ready to use. Aphromoosh waiting for it. He's going to activate it right there. But all clumped up on the side of Far Studios, and they're just figuring, all right, let's man up now. I Annihilate going down, by the way. Gets the turn kill on a mark while this is all happening. They do take out Dream Protect with the top lane. All right, it's official. This is NA Dota Actions. Home here in the mid lane. Of course, partnered up with the IO. And speaking of IO, of course, natural combination with the Huskar, as I'll get to that in just a second, because the pushback on to Fart SJ. Razor suddenly away from his teammate. The tether in, though. Sonic wants to help keep him alive. Overcharged, doing everything he can. He's a 20 so. stake on Wisp. Oh. He gets that stack uh, with the wand use right there, as you mentioned. He's gonna keep him alive, and Sonic just kind of walking it off. Uh, not so much. Razor eventually run down. Off to the side, though. That's gonna be another P coming out from Jenkins. Oscar showing up as well. Interfire gets one. Now going for Death Prophet. The stacks of the Burning Spear is adding up, but it's not enough. The Living Armor is doing work. The Armlet Toggle, however, from Ionella. He goes back in with the Life Break. Going back with another Armlet Toggle, and he's gonna be able to pick up the kill. That sanctified triple kill for Ionella. Will it even be a quad kill, Mark? Six seconds. Fire Revenant not going to matter. Shockwave connects. Big plays for Fart Studio. To have all the momentum in this game so that he can control it. Um, and th huh. that's where I think the tether is important for him. You saw right there, Rubik using that Fire Revenant, which he currently has, take it over to harass Double King and push him out from this top lane. However, it by Bruin. Trip Protector not level six yet, gonna be screwed away. The nice silence? triple silence, though. That is big. Actually says him, it's taken away. I know, maybe a toggle of the armor. It's not gonna matter. He just melts down. He's down for 30 more seconds. Aphromoosh continues in pursuit. Jenkins trying to run away. Not so easy against the Earth Spirit. Earth Spirit gonna die to make that happen. Rubik flying around every which way. As we see, the RP is even going to be committed just to try to keep teammates alive. Magnus falls, though, and seed up a three for one that they are very satisfied with. Or you saw those odds right there on the screen on the top center, uh, esportsbet.io. Definitely uh, taking a look at yourself, the updating odds throughout the match. But again, still favoring Fart Studios, but slightly close to that gap uh, for Cena. But speaking of this game, once again, Huskar going back with a life break. The IO tether off, fairly seen alive, not alive enough. Though they do take out Death Prophet, however. And now Mark shows up, probably regretting that decision. In fact, absolutely is. He just melts as soon as he goes in for a slight and sanctified the same story for him as well. Double Double kill for Razor. 13 to 9 at not even 13 minutes. And Protector. Looking at that. So, double damage room, by the way. Going to be picked up by I Annihilate and they go right into Roshan. There is vision. I mean, Cedup saw this happening. So, how do they react is the question because they have to react to this, right? Yeah, they, they should come over there and, and fight this. Meanwhile, they do have a really good push bottom with Lifestealer, but giving it free ages. Uh, it looks like they might be too late, though. Yeah, he is TPing in now. Is that lifestyle? Oh, Fartus is going to pop that BKB. Bashbox helping. Yeah, going in right there. And the Death Province picked up behind I like that one. Oh my god, the RP from Jenkins. It pulls them all in. Three are dead. And it's run time for Lifestealer and the Earth Spirit. Double King will be fine. Earth Spirit.
left, so they, they will survive, but Fart Studio is going to take their biggest lead. And it's needed here. Uh oh, Sweet Apple Protector, boost. not so safe. Yeah, and this is going to really sting as well if he dies because that Blink Dagger is so close to being purchased, and it's just going to be longer, unfortunately. So, But no, he's he, he'll have it by the time he's back up and good to go, but obviously a good find there for Fart Studios. And why would they stop, I suppose? Uh, they're going to oh, keep going uphill. Th they stole the level 4 uh, living. Very good. Assault Kiros is queued up next. A ways before that, but... Satisfied with what he has currently. Jenkins with an arcane rune, though. You know he's looking for that RP moment. And they're going to group up mid and maybe try to push off of this now. Oh, he catches the ember? Lift? I was going to say, does he RP for this? Uh, the answer is yes. It's, with the arcane rune especially, it's 80 seconds. It's going to be back up. It's good that he didn't go for the RP. He being here is not going to necessarily save you fully against a lot of the stuff on fart. Yeah, it's it does feel like one of those almost desperate items of you. You're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. But it, it's not going to come to play right here because it doesn't have it yet. RP though pulls in the two. However, excess is up from Ela, and now getting a chance with some life steal. Life stealer even showing up. Put the slow water part. Stay high. Nyla just jumps in though. He's got his own BKP, and the burning spear is now adding up on top of nice the death infest. profit. And the infest is gonna. Well, for now, life stealer is still feeling pretty good. They took out Razor. You see the on the uphill. Getting clipped. Oh, Jenkins. Jenkins. Gonna go for the TP play. No, stopped in the end. Pulls him down though, and uh, now Jenkins? trying to survive. What have you done? He's Why did trouble. you bring him down? <laughs> yeah. D d whoopsie. <laughs> I love it. He clips two of them, and then he's like, ah, it's just. A <laughs> well, they're definitely seeing. Yeah, the Sentry War placed down. Gave it away, if anything. Ela will take it out. Roshan still has plenty of life. ESJ deciding to go in right there. And they're gonna get the skewer on to the death prophet. No exorcism just yet. The infest bomb though. I annihilate is trying to survive. Gets tethered up the heels, and now he's looking to turn. The burning spirits adding up onto the death prophet. RP will lock two in place, but not the biggest follow-up damage. They take up Dream Protector though. Life Stealer is still locked in place, even despite the BKP. Ember Spirit finally goes down, and so does Zero Spirit, and so will Life Stealer. Eventually, the damage is there for Fart Studios. And a triple kill for I Annihilate, and let's add Roshan on top. I like a Sonic manages to get the last hit there on the final kill with an auto attack from Wisp. Beautiful played by, <laughs> by uh, Far Studios. They're really spread out in that fight. Could have been possible here, but no, no tiny. Oh, Smoke's going to be exposed, by the way. And Razor eventually running away as Hila try to catch up with the Siphon, but out of the Zeus. Of course, Razor slippery and fast. Rubik trying to be slippery and fast. Has his fire remnant stolen. The Infest nuke, though. And Nusham will eventually die. Talking about this scattered fights once again. Jenkins also now caught up, dude. Just going to go for the BKB TP. They do have Called a stopper, overgrowth. though. And that's called Overgrowth. So Jenkins also will fall. And neither one has a buyback. I mean, there is no Roshan, though. So what can you really... Either the game could end here in favor of Far Studios, it feels like, or C-Dub gonna really start some kind of a comeback. Nice ward by Nusham. Same from C though. Sanctified, a little bit of a distraction. Jenkins going in for in the back, there's a one and fist bomb. They take it on Ruben, that's the god initiation that you're looking for. After C dub, I know LA trying to get away. Just south though, another fight once again, breaking through. Life breaks on through. Husker though, he's locked in place thanks to the overgrowth. Mark going back and Husker has to fight. There's no buyback for the supporting cats. He is still alive. The roll in from her spirit and down goes I Annihilate. He's out for 80 seconds. He just got his buyback. But this is what I was talking about, Waga. This is a chance now for C-Dub. This, uh, this is insane. There were 20,000 more even gold behind and they managed to find this fight. They get so much money for every single kill. The Huskar kill alone was a thousand gold for you. You can almost, you know, feel like they said, okay, guys, we've been going alone too much. We've been dying alone too much. Let's just run together. Sanctified runs into all of them, gets blocked by Jenkins. Yeah, BKB, he tried to roll up the last second, but uh-oh. Who's not here? Iron Alex not here. And he's running, but he can't join. He just TP to the bottom lane. So Jenkins, he cancels the RP. He did not use it. He gets on out of there with... He's running over the hills. Eraser, having to force his own BKB out. They lose Isle, though. Here comes a big that overgrowth. RP. That's the RP, though, coming out from Jenkins. He shows back up, but the follow-up damage just not enough they did kill ember spirit but life stealer so plenty alive and i lifted on up however he's not able to get some attacks never mind the bash procs kick in and down goes huskar double killed over fart sj and suddenly it's double king by himself remember he has an aegis the they're trying to get there in time they want to help him 
Yep, buying back, flying back over. DP does have that exorcism to, good to go. Living armor applied from Affamoosh. And here comes Ela. Ela, exorcism, silence. Lotus Orb applied to the Razor. But he has to respect this damage now. Life Stealer is showing that he's not giving up. He wants to continue this fight. Puts the offensive Blade stun onto the Razor, but Fardes J is still fairly strong for the look at it. Aphromoosh getting pushed back. Another sign's coming out. Getting feared to wave in, but down goes the tree in. And now Razor, or excuse me, that's more so Life Stealer having to infest, trying to get away. They lose Death Prophet once again. That was a At valiant attempt there by C-Dubs, but now opens up for the playmakers to, to make their plays. Well, speaking of making plays, Waga, they're going for it on C-Dubs' side. They, it's understandable. Last-ditch effort to sort. Gleifner in the hands of Ember Spirit opens up. As the Infest Bomb right, they come on out. Who are they going for the quick kill to Io? No, the reflection, though, of the Lotus Sword, but they do take out Io. He's out for 100 seconds with no buyback. Part SJ and Half-Life both the RP from Jake. It's time for the overgrowth of the response. Pop of the refresher as well. Trying to continue its alive. Another refresher, or another R or another root coming out, excuse me, with the overgrowth. Over stole by New Shum. It's just roots all over the place, left and right, but it's Seems like Fart Studios is the one that's having the last laugh. Life Stealer forcing his buyback, and so does the trip. But look who's still alive amongst this. It's this Razor. Just continuing to do work. Death Prophet just south of us ends up going down. I annihilate, and then Mark killed off again. But he buys back again. But uh, Fart SJ, he has teammates coming. And he might need them a little bit quicker because he's starting to drop, but never mind. The link is up. He's taking Life Stealer for a walk now. Infest onto the Ember Spirit. And now Ember Spirit's having to get the hell on out of there. They're just playing the survivalist game. Yeah, they're just chasing people down. This this game is so all over the place, but uh, himself. The, so the issue that I see is that their damage is really limited to just that first uh, infest bomb from Ember and Lifesteer together. They're going again here with the yep. smoke. They need to get such a good connection where they burst like two heroes. Because if they only kill Io slowly and just barely, then afterwards, where's the damage coming from? Exorcism is falling off at this point, and there's not really much damage coming out from Ember overall after his initial jump. Well, they're gonna go for it once again. They find Io yet again. Lotus Orb coming out. Meanwhile, off to the right, Sanctify gets blown up, but so does Sonic. So an eye for an eye there. Now they're buying back currently at least the overgrowth. Being used by Remnants flying around from Mark. Trying to stay alive against this Rage who's chasing him down, but Double King BKB on up, and he's going for Huskar. Earth Spirit buys back. Every Spirit was picked RP? off, though. And the RP again coming through for Jenkins. And this time, it seems like it could be the finisher that they're looking for. Life Stealer manages to TP back. But it is official, Waga. GG's called. Game one going to Fart Studios. What a wild ride, game one. That, that's... I, I don't know what I expected. Can Void actually have some impact in the mid game here? Yeah, I, I think definitely he can. And I think you're less worried about... The hero fall. Gonna manage to get a courier snipe there as well Radiant with this deep ward. Chases after it with a roll. Ooh, bottom. This might be a kill. Jenkins holding his ground. And he basically knows he's dead at that point. Yeah, first blood's gonna come out for Sanctify. New Shop coming in very late. So that's that's pretty much what Jenkins was doing, at least setting up the turn kill to take place after the fact, knowing that there was no chance he's getting away anyways. Yeah, I like that he just stood his ground and started fighting, but that was also the pain of his support being away sniping a courier. Then C-Dub recognized that, okay, we're too just missing eye, and I like, kind of walks around it. Get a snowball in to even assist with the last hit, but yeah, no bottle charges, as you mentioned, does have the fuse raindrop. Assisting a little bit, but ooh, that is gonna be a kill. Coming out for Sanctified at the bottom lane, by the way, taking out the Earth Spirit. I Annihilate is like, yeah, it's a, uh... Worthwhile death. You gotta wonder if that was even in the mindset as far as their spirit maybe playing a bit more aggressive there as a result. But either way, he comes to the middle lane and Mark. Mark's in trouble. Mark's just dead. In fact, he, he gets taken out right there. So we knew the bottle fill was coming in. Didn't necessarily maybe expect the kill to take place. It's a little bit because of his skill build, to be honest. He went for a 2C or 3 build. So he doesn't have the repositioning there of Dissimulate. And then the shard is good against him. The Tusk shards and, of course, the, uh, the slow from the roll in and the kick as well. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's, he's gonna have to TP his way down out of this one. Waits to make sure he doesn't get rolled on to get cancelled again, but yeah, that's TP cooldown. Yeah, but they might be making a play down here. Jenkins is vulnerable. Sitting just above half life, and with the rotation end from Afomush, gonna lift him up. Nushan realizing it's a lost cause. He's just gonna have to simply walk away, so who has the last laugh there? Oh, I think Toppy it's safe died. To in the end. 
Hila tried to TP out, but the mana from Sonic there, last second comes in, gives the overpower to Ursa again, and he just barely gets that kill. The damage block, uh, you go for an early ring, it's very natural for you, so th this matchup is nice for him, and he's playing it really well. Oh, can he get the Double king? Slows. No, no, not really, but will it matter in the end? The answer is no. Wave of death comes through. Crips are more so. Secures that kill, but now Jenkins in trouble. Siphons up. Yeah, double siphon, so he's staying alive for the time being, but with Mark showing up as well. Really no chance for him to get away at that point. Sanctified another kill. He is 4-1 against this Lycan. Even taking a purge, slowing down. And rotation from the Haster that we mentioned that was picked up by Mark. Illuminate on through. New Shop shows up as well, though. And gonna use that Magnetize before to take over the TPO. It's not enough, though. He's out for 30 seconds. And our New Shop's in trouble. The roll's gonna be blocked out. The cock's coming out. Hila with that shape shift. Running out. The snowball in pursuit, though. Oh, it's too far fine. away. He lives. Wow, that was so close. He just dodged the shards barely. I mean, hard to land a slow ability like shards on uh, on us and play around Lycan. Uh, they need to activate and start taking buildings, but look at Fart. They're coming up here with Tusk. Well, Risk Punch in. Response. Cog's being used also to kind of cut up the supporting cast. Illuminate was already used by Sonic, and he's going to get the pushback on a Lycan to finish the job, and now Sanctified. I don't think he's getting away from this one. Another Illuminate coming through, and Sonic credit for the kill. That time around, so yeah, Tusk really this beefy core. As you mentioned, it's a bit awkward. He kind of had to use it. They were going for a, for a turn for sure, but it's uh, it's just not going to get the most value in the end for for Jenkins there. Oh, they're casting so, so many spells on this man. They're just bombing down from far away with Sonic on his caudal. You can tell this man loves spamming his caudal. Hook coming in. Okay. Well, that's a great response, of course, to take out the Tusk. And now c -Dub, they can push this mid lane. Yeah, while well, all this Sonic. is happening, the wraparound. With the stun oh, creep, no chance trying for to bring him. down Quattle. <laughs> yeah, the, the Centaur, great job using that, of course, Helm of the Dominator and making the easy kill take place with that shapeshift form. And we mentioned that tower, it's already through the creeps. Including that centaur, and here goes her spirit looking to get magnetized off. There we go, Revenant placed down, and the quick kill onto the sniper. He just melted before you even know it. And like it's also gonna get caught out, the shards blocking him in place, and a killing spree for Nusham. So, Far Studios responds and very effectively. I feel like these three heroes could run together and create such a like a blitzy playstyle here if they just play uh, Earth Spirits, Tusk. Oh boy, they're gonna catch Void as well. Punch. Look at the damage. That's just with two of them. If they use the two of them and Ursa and run around, I don't think there's anything C-Dubs can do to fight them right now. And they would just keep having to split. One reason why I didn't like the sniper pick in the pick phase, I said I prefer like damage output of a Tusk, I feel. Mm -hmm. C-Dub knows that this is happening, it looks like, but they're, they're going to get here too late. Trapville's coming in, but BSJ will pick it up. The Wolves got it there at the last sec, but again, just too late. But Sanctify wants to make a play. The Assassinate going for the kill on the Fart SJ, but he's just too beefy. And also, he's got supporting cast, got the cast on the back, Elijah, including Rubik going to take it out. And BSJ is back in as well on the Earth, so he will end up going down. Pop of the Aegis, but they do kill Sniper. He's coming right back up, Mark. Going back in though with the Lycan. And actually, Ursa needs to be careful getting his support from Iron Island in the meantime. And down falls Lycan. Mark did not want to commit further. His spells were still coming off cooldown, but Earth Spirit manages to catch him. And Nusham trying to keep him in place, waiting for his teammates to get here. He says, All right, fine, I'll die to the neutrals, which you will be successful with. But he bought the time needed for I Annihilate to come in. It's into this game now. And the rest, yeah, Earth Spirit also making his way out of there. Oh, they know Death Prophet's here, though. They're pinging him out. Nusham's nearby. Gonna get lifted up, brought back in. Grip Swarm even used it, stolen by Rubik, but just too slippery is Nusham. Yeah, they're gonna be okay. Mid lane, meanwhile, getting shoved in by the Lycan. Uh, I'm not a big fan, by the way, you wanna talk about the, the skill build that Sniper's doing this game, Double King. Oh, wait, might have to talk about that later. As far as day is here with BKB, looking for a fight. In a game like this, you're never going to have a good window to talk about it, but still hold that thought because a big fight might be breaking out here as Clockwork 
Magnetize us up. He's just gonna kind of run in circles before he dies. Jump back in his mark, but he's gonna have to assimilate out. Speaking of the sniper, he just gets melted, and Mark's gonna be the same story. The walrus punch to finish the job. Sonic ends up dying to the ice shaman. So a bit of a laugh there for Lycan. In fact, both supports dead on the side of Fart Studios. However, it is just Lycan surviving for C Dub after that four for two. Yeah, their team fight is in Shrapnel would be easily sufficient, or maybe just scaling at two points even, because he's lacking a lot of auto attack damage. Yeah, I mean, Mask Madness Hurricane Pike isn't necessarily going to be the most threatening right now, but might assist for the kill on a Tusk at least. Although the snowball, the clutch snowball at the last second, the Walrus Punch is going to survive, and they set up the turn kill to sanctify. Meanwhile, Afri over here, Aframoosh, good job with the shards. That's actually, that was a bad job of the shot. I thought he stole them for a sec, but either way, he gets away. But if Double King, Sniper, once again, he just can't do anything in the fight. It feels like eventually just run down. And the same story for Void Spirit as well. And you see that in the label up there, Fart SJ is dominating. That's that's pretty appropriate right now. He is 5 1 and 4. Well, Mike, you need to be, have some fast fingers soon because the smoke play coming in from Far Studios. Clockwork doing everything he can to get away. In fact, snowballing from Mine He went further. He wants a sniper, of course. Clockwork's gonna hook shot. Double King just immediately goes for the TP play and will manage to get out. But Sanctified eventually run down the Crypture and finishing the job. Rubik, uh, you're not slippery enough. He too is gonna be run down. I mean, uh, that's where this game state is at right now. Far Studios is literally just W King. You know, they're, they're just running. Potential there. And Jenkins is gonna be completely fine just backing out with the, with the TP. That's what I was saying, though. It's like that. That's where the RNG is definitely a little bit unfavorable. If Roshan's up, maybe 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 they could steal it right there, but not the case. And yeah, Clockwork. Well, they set up the kill on the Sonic, but he dies for it. And there might be more casualties. You mentioned Ela already using that transform. No chance to get out of shapeshift on cooldown. Double kill for Ursa. And guess who's up now? It's Roshan, and I'm guessing Far Studios is going there. I'm sure, sure enough, they are. Last outer tower at the top lane, but it's one of two remaining as the bottom. Still up as well, but in the meantime, C Dub is trying to pressure out this bottom. They're, they're trying to bait out this bottom push, and no one's coming though. <laughs> Everyone is for Far Studios is more so towards the top, if not a little bit mid. But now Far Studios is responding, and they're making the way to the bottom here. Yeah, and they're 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 taking the bites. They're they're going for it. I mean, they're going for Lycan, and Lycan's just dead, and so is Clockwork. Oh my god, I saw Lycan getting bursted out, also like Clockwork just melted right next to him, so. Mid lane, by the way, Ursa finds the jump on a sniper who figured he was safe because of what was going on bottom, just getting out of his face ever so slightly, and BSJ is like, oh, yes, he's good. Hey, he's gonna be fine, but, uh... It, it's so dangerous. Anywhere you go, this is like a horror game right now. Look at Lycan, he's trying to run, but there's a TP coming in from the blink Ursa. Does he see him? Does he see him? He does. Yep. Oh boy. That's a bad... Feels bad, man, for Lycan right there. Killed him spree for the Tusk. Let's add Moron. Sanctified. Also picked off. Nusham. Hunting for more. Unable to roll on anyone those. Sniper, I mean, talk about the lack of damage coming up for Sniper. He does have a crystal. They're pinging it out now, I was going to say. They're, they're going to know Sniper somewhere over here. So now it's a case of can Double King actually get out before he gets jumped? He just you see the mini map that they're they're roaming over. You know it's a it's a matter of time before this gank comes through. There it is, an air spirit. Gotcha. Not much sniper can do now. Silence on top. He can't grenade away, and he's dead for fifty. They do get a oh, consolation kill at least. They find Sonic. And uh, entire Fork Studios <laughs> decided to tip him for getting caught out on mid lane there. Cheers, my the friendly team tip calling out their teammate, having a good laugh and understand. I mean, we knew about the Spar Studios team. I mean, hey, they're obviously trying and certainly a team that's capable with the, with the players they have on here. But it's also one of these. They're here to have fun, truly have fun teams. And yeah. Just Showing a casual that. solo kill on the Void Spirit there by the Ursa. He didn't even have to use his Abyssal, by the way. He just relied on the Bash. That's enough. Goes to show his kill potential right now. Toss going in. <laughs> wow. That roof just melted. Sanctified, same story there, too. And like in. Not, not the best feeling when you shape shift just to run away. Never is. 
No, I mean, he, he can't really shapeshift and fight anyway, so whether he uses it to run away or not, I guess at least this way he lived. Um, but I don't think there's much uh, hope for his base. Dark is just gonna push up the top lane and needs to get away quickly. Oh, they're, they're in that hot pursuit, Nusham! Yep, they get him. Good old Abyssal Blade locked down. That, that swift uh, swift blink that Ursus even had for a little bit. Obviously coming into play there too. Jenkins, by the way, down here. He's gonna double siphon and heal up just enough. The Assassinate will be unable to finish him and lives throughout. Double King ends up going down thanks to Tusk, who is just in those front lines. He has a Moon Shard now, by the way, on him. But... Oh, he's got the Moon Shard. He's ready for the 12% uh, chance to proc. Hila nice. trying to TP out, but... Oh, he gets it just barely. Fortification is going to be used. So again, seed up fighting to the bitter end. As this is it after all here in this series. Yeah, well, the tapping. first series of, for these two teams, though, here of the Division 2 DPC North America. But let the onslaught continue. Far Studios going really deep there all the way to the fountain, basically. There's a buyback on a Rubik coming out. You hear the hell? Clockwork also buying back, so it is back to a five versus five. Wow, Sonic got so low right there. Somehow managed to live. Tusk back in. Immediately first down sniper. He buys back there right away. But the tower is dead currently. Still BKB on Ursa. Turns it around. There it is. Urshock jumping in. Gets a bash proc on a Lycan. And a couple hits later. Shreds through his life pool. Double kill for Ursa. He's 12, 1, and 10 now. Now focusing on the racks. <laughs> Again, they're trying. Oh, well, they get Sonic. That's got to feel good. There's the tip. I was going to say that they're definitely going to be tipping Sonic after that one. At least Fart SJ does and some continuation. Yeah, they're they're just sitting here. Now he's killing his friend's wolf sniper, doing some odd attacks on the dominated creep. At least he gets to attack something before Ursa comes and kills him again. Well, I'm, as we are in the, the final phases of this one, as there we go, GG's are officially called. What I was going to say is just really just feel like uh, C-Dub just simply got out drafted here more so than anything. Or uh, I mean, I, I very heavily favor Fart. Right.